Girija presenting case report. We saw Manasi presenting a, a public health approach. Uh, and then uh, two of our learned Sanskrit scholars who uh, brought about things that are relevant from the Indian texts to uh, the principles that are relevant for today's uh, uh, you know, lifestyle or today's cont the contemporary civilizational uh, uh, nuances. So what I would like to, uh, there are some efforts that are going on. We had these questions coming up during uh, Dr. Girija's presentation also is how do we come to uh, some kind of consensus, you know. That is the problem. We have rich knowledge, but the problem is uh, we have to arrive at some kind of consensus and to begin with. Uh, let me give you some examples. At NIMHANS, we are trying to integrate various Indian knowledge systems or Indian systems of health. Um, we were somehow we were able to bring together six uh, schools of yoga. You have Iyengar School of Yoga. Uh, we have Bihar Munger School of Yoga. Uh, we have Lonavala or Kaivalya Dhamma, which has its own uh, uh, yoga. Chennai also has. Madam, we have four to five systems of yoga. And now we are saying that yoga is good for mental health, yoga is good for neurological health, yes. Being a professional, the way we are speaking is fine. But being an administrator, let us bring in the perspective of an administrator with, wherein I have to look at the whole country or maybe trying to do some administration here. So if I have to tell people that what is the kind of yoga that I recommend as an administrator so that all of you can at least begin with you can start with. You start some kind of pranayama. See, this is what is good for sympathetic and parasympathetic system is my recommendation and my recommendation is based on certain studies. And when I say studies, I select four or five schools of yoga. There are at least uh, for five actual schools of yoga, there are at least um, maybe around 10 to 15 of them who have very, very ulterior motives. They have made their own commercial forms. They have, there's a lot of unregulatory things that come in. So if you have, if you are considering six schools of yoga, why not you consider me? Because I also have some contributions here. And then what I am doing behind is not my job to go and check. Finally, I realize that he might be doing something ulterior. Now, how do we regulate this? I say that Jhaji is a very, very good, uh, uh, you know, Sanskrit scholar. Some other person will say that Jha is not good or he is he's saying all, you know, something which is nonsense. How are we going to bring some kind of standardization, not, not standardization, some kind of way in which you regulate. So this is the problem that we face. Now, you know, why was Ayurveda or Siddha not considered as, uh, you know, during the COVID period? This was the question that came. And now see, for, for us, for, from the past five years, we are trying to come out with one common protocol for yoga. And you should, you should see how much of difficulties that we are facing if I have to convince my director. The director is the director of NIMHANS. She is the authority on psychiatric health. So she tells me that for depression, this is what is our principles of management. Please come up with your principle of management. This is what we are facing in health. Now you imagine all those domains that came up here. So we have many principles, many interpretations. I'm not saying that they're all not good. I'm saying that there are so many approaches for one particular, as she was saying, we did a study. We did a study, we, uh, what we did was we, uh, we identified that there is a live herbal community health practice market at Bangalore, if you, uh, you know, if you want to believe this that there is a market and this market, there is one vendor. There are two or three, uh, you know, vegetable markets which are huge and this vendor comes up only with medicinal plants. And we went and interviewed him. He says that we have customers who ask for these medicinal plants. Then we, we, we interviewed all those people who come to him. They said that I use this plant for, uh, for cough and cold. I use this plant for jaundice. So then a person from Tamil Nadu says, I use this plant for jaundice. A person from Kerala says, I use this plant for jaundice. A person from maybe Uttar Pradesh says, I use this plant for jaundice. Okay. All these three plants are used for jaundice. All these three plants have the same, uh, are different and they are habitat based. 
at different habitats they have the same properties mind it they can they are antiviral they have very good effects okay now have we done efforts to see that what is the common uh, you know uh, what is common among all these three plants which are used for the same condition by the people at their habitat you know that is the beauty of indian knowledge systems but then there should be some effort where i will say that for jaundice these are the prescribed plants and these plants are habitat based this is what is my suggestion now efforts to do this integration has not been very very robust now this is the problem with indian knowledge systems because we it is true that indian knowledge systems are very very rich and we have been subjected a lot of uh, you know subjugation uh, exploitation which has been there and we all agree i don't i need not have to speak about that but then if we have to rejuvenate we have to stand a shoulder to shoulder with another psychiatrist i have to speak like how he speaks i have to tell him that this is how is my approach is in what he understands and maybe i have an audience there and if i am able to do better i'll have to prove it the way it is to be proven and maybe the scientific community uh, you know understands because psychiatrists are the domain experts right i will say that i am an ayurveda psychiatrist then i'll have to tell them that how i am different or how i can contribute and how i can integrate so this is the area i feel that we need to focus on we have everything we need to we need to figure out how do we join the strings and see that we become relevant so this is the most important question that we should focus and maybe we should find answers from knowledge is rich but then how do we integrate how do we have and this study madam you said that you know different Uh, places different states have their own approaches yes and that is the beauty different cultures have developed their own way of handling uh, diseases but then have we uh, have we been able to present it in a form that is you know understandable because you know the common complaint is that that physician says something else this physician says something else another fellow says something else this is what they know they don't know what is the principle behind this we need to make them understand isn't it so this is something which i feel is the need because i am doing the same thing and i know the difficulties that i am facing now uh, because i have to go to the people people are not bothered people just want to get better but then at the level of systems we'll have to say that you know how do we arrive at a consensus and how do we see that everything becomes inclusive so this is something which i wanted to bring it up at this uh, you know stage because we are speaking of indian indian knowledge systems we should also try to speak or at least contemplate on how do we plan to present this how do we plan to make a common consensus on each principles that are present each one is rich we need to integrate everyone uh, everyone together we cannot discard other practices we have to make it inclusive and what is the methodology that we follow because this kind of system doesn't exist in the modern way reductionistic approach because if there is an antidepressant the antidepressant is used for all the people all the races everywhere ar around the world and that is the paradigm with which they they go and they will tell us give me one herb that can i can give to everyone and it acts uh, uh, to everyone and this is not possible and we have not been able to tell them that purusham purusham viksha you have to look at every person the person has to be you know the treatment has to be personalized it is based on lot of variation so this is what i have to convey they don't understand sir we have to tell them because they have not been taught like that and we cannot leave them and go we have to bring them together and make them there are people who are ready to listen there are people who will take it forward so we will have to look for them try to convince them and uh, do the whole thing so uh, indian knowledge system the relevance now it is extremely gaining lot of steam we will have to take it forward we will have to get people together and then see that we make relevant to the current living system so this these are the comments i wanted to make i'm sorry uh, 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 you know making these comments uh, in, in the sense that uh, uh, you know the time uh, in spite of the time being not there thank you for uh, listening and thank you for the four wonderful speakers who came up with the enlightening uh, presentations thank you one and all